up you guys welcome back to my channel I know that I have been MIA for a really long time and that's because one week I got sick the second week um, Flo came into town and she rained on my parade <laughs> well anyways I'm back um, like I never left and today we're gonna be doing a affordable fragrance haul I've seen so many different fragrance hauls um, on YouTube and the girls are giving they're giving the scents the scents are magnificent the only problem is a lot of the price points with these scents are three and four hundred dollars and who wants to spend that much every time you buy a fragrance I don't um so yeah let's get into it the first fragrance that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is one of my all-time favorites I have been wearing this scent since 2006 um, and it's gonna be the Bobbi Brown Beach perfume you can get this usually from any Bobbi Brown counter. Um, I usually get mine from the Bobbi Brown counter in Nordstrom. The price point is about, I would say, $85 or so. Yeah, $80, $85. It's a really sweet scent and not sweet to the, the tune of sugary, but it's more so along the subtle lines and it has a really feminine scent to it. Um, and it's just a really good everyday perfume, in my opinion, anyway. I love wearing it. Um, it. It mixes well. It layers well with other scents. You can layer it with a musk if you want to sweeten a musk when you're wearing it. Um, and it's just overall an amazingly great scent to have in your collection. And the price point helps that as well. Um, the longevity on this one is about, I would say, four hours. Um, I know sometime if I spray it on myself in the morning and I leave the house for a few hours, like, you know, four or five hours, I still smell it. So the longevity is great and the price point is great. So yeah, this is a go. Hey guys, this next scent is a deal deal, like a steel deal. This is Kindle by KKW Fragrance. This bottle retails for about 40 bucks, okay? Yeah, 40 bucks. You know I'm a very musky girl. Um, so this is a musk. It The longevity on this for me is about two hours or so um, because this is, it's, I would say, it's more of a concentrated scent. Um, so it's it's not going to last super long, but for the price point and the notes that are in the scent and what you're getting, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck for 40 bucks. Um, this scent, it's amazing. It's easy to layer. You can do a sweet layer. You can mix it with another musk and it won't overpower the other musk. It'll, it'll just blend in super smooth um, because again, it's not that overpowering. And I really would recommend this, especially based on the price point, which is 40 bucks. And then the scent that you're getting, it's it's a steal. So definitely pick this up. All right, you guys, these next two scents, they are also by KKW Fragrance. And it's the Jeffrey Lethem Collection um, fragrances that he did in collaboration with KKW Fragrance. I am not certain of the names <laughs> of both of these just off the top of my head but I will have them linked in the description box. I believe um, this one in particular um, Queen Latifah kind of put this on showcase and was like raving about this one about how great it smelled and the longevity and how you got so much bang for your buck so I had to see what it was about. I had to see what all the fuss was about so yeah I picked this up and guess what? Guess what, baby? Guess what? Both of these bottles, $80. For, oh, okay. Well, you, you get the point. 40 and 40. Um, both bottles were only $40. This one, the lighter one, the lighter colored, um, um, the lighter colored perfume, this scent is a little 
lighter than the other one that I freaking dropped the the darker one it's a little lighter um I'm trying to think if I can give a descriptive or a comparison of what this smells like for you guys what the heck does it smell like it really gives me pink sugar vibes and don't judge pink sugar just stop right there if that's what you're gonna do because she has been bae since high school i still use pink sugar till this day as you can see she is behind me up there i use pink sugar for layering with my musks when i want to soften them up um but this that's what this gives me like a mixture of pink sugar and a musk so the kkw fragrances i'm telling you don't sleep you guys forty dollars that's a steal that's a great price point for the scents and the notes that these girls are putting down. $40 is a deal. Go ahead. Next and scent is going to be Coffee Break. Um, this is one of the replica scents. I am absolutely obsessed with pretty much the whole replica collection. Um, but when I was in San Francisco visiting family, um, I went to I went downtown and we went to like Nordstrom and I tested coffee break specifically and I fell in love I had to have it so I pretty much bought a bottle instantly um, and I've been wearing my coffee break you guys year around this is a unisex fragrance um, the fragrance description is creamy and cozy coffee so because it is unisex it does kind of teeter along the lines of smelling like a cologne at times um but i love it i i love it i like musk i like strong scents i like soft scents i'm pretty flexible when it comes to the scent that i'm wearing so for me this is an absolute must um and then the longevity on this one i would say is about three hours wear um but it's it's a strong scent so i think the longevity of three hours is a pretty good time frame um, considering that it is more so a musk or a cologne if you will and so that way when it wears off it kind of gives off a softer scent so you kind of have the best of both worlds so this is definitely definitely one that you'll want to add to your collection if you're a musky girl not musty okay musky musky if you like musk yeah so definitely get this one um i think the price point on this i'm trying to remember it might have been oh goodness it might have been 130 to 150 yeah. but i feel like i'm i feel like that's inaccurate so i'm gonna make sure that i um, link it down below in the description box with the correct price point but i know it was somewhere within those those that range um it definitely did not exceed 150. so yeah this is another one you can add to your collection next up you guys we have the rue saint honoree from the way um as you can see I'm trying to make sure that it shows up correctly yep this is rue saint honoree from the way as you can see i use this heavy heavy um that's why it's almost gone this isn't this is such like a staple clean scent that you need in your collection if you're into clean scents um just something subtle and soft but it really has a lot of feminine notes in it um, so I love this fragrance. The price point is amazing. I'm kind of obsessed with the way. Just FYI, I use their shampoos, their body wash, their body scrubs. Anything that the way makes, I've used it. Um, but yeah, the price point on this one is amazing. You can wear it year round because it's, it's just a clean scent. It doesn't really, in my opinion, I can't really associate this scent with a specific season um, just because it, it's so versatile in my opinion anyway. Um, the price point on this one is I think it was about 50 bucks or 56 bucks and you get 1.7 ounces so that's a really good deal um, and that's really reasonable for the amount of fragrance that you're getting. 
So yeah, this is another one. If you like clean scents, add this to your collection. And you guys, this scent is so subtle that you can even spray this on before bedtime. If you're like me and you like to put fragrance on uh, occasionally before bedtime, this is one that you can do and it's not going to be overpowering. It's not going to bother you. Um, it's just, yeah, this is it. This is it. $56, it's a steal for this one. So definitely add this to your collection. This next scent is called Choco Musk. I got this off of Amazon and I believe it is an Arabian scent. It smells amazing. I don't think I paid more than $50 for this, this bottle. Um, it does have hints of sweetness in it as well as musk, but the two for this scent particular are just married and they they give off like a super a super subtle but sexy vanilla scent and it's really subtle um it this scent is not going to last very long either i think the longevity for me is about two hours with this scent but i do believe the bottle was purchased at under 50 dollars, so it's another one to add to your collection and with prime you'll probably get it the next day so 10 next out of up is bibliotech by burrito and I love this scent. Um, this scent for me is a a a fall winter scent, if you will. Um, it's not overpowering, but it does have a strong essence about it. Um, let me see. This one. I'm trying to think of how I can describe it to you guys because I really want to use adjectives that are relatable versus just reading something from a cue card or reading something from the website which you guys can do on your own um so this scent for me it does give off musk um but it also has hints of sweetness in it and it's it's strong um it gives off hints of musk but not as much as coffee break by uh, the replica scent coffee break um but it's it's pretty overpowering it's a good scent a little goes a long way on this so if you like a a really strong scent if you like musk this is going to be another one to add to your collection and um, this is bibliotech by burrito and i think the price point on this one might have been like 190 six or 210 i'm gonna link it in the description box for you girl so we're not even gonna go through the guesswork but yeah this is another musk must have a musk must have that's like a tongue twister but yeah it's a good one so add this and last but not least the final shebang it's going to be the k ali elixir 2 this smells like heaven it smells like heaven mm. i'm gonna put some on right now sorry this smells so good you guys mm. so good um but yeah this is the k ali elixir 2 by huda beauty and i got the big bottle because i just love it 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 smells rich it smells effortless like you just smell good but there's no effort put into you smelling as good as you do um it does give off a vibe of a musk and i can't really i can't really place the notes in this one um but it does give me reminiscence of an arabian scent or an arabian oil um i think the price point for this one was about 120 130 somewhere in there but i'm gonna put this in the description box for you guys too so that ends this video thank you guys so much for tuning in and if you decide to purchase any of these fragrances definitely let me know below because i'm interested to see what you guys think of these recommendations for sure um and yeah i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to like comment um subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and i would be 
ecstatic to have you guys um, as subscribers on my channel. So thank you in advance for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.